Um, You're being audio video recorded, just to let you know. Cool, cool. So he broke into my house and stole a couple of tools. And I just now find out that he's in jail right now. Who's the guy? His name is um, Lincoln. Oh, Rodney. Rod Lincoln is his like a nickname. He told to people so they cannot identify him properly. Okay. Rodney is his name. Rodney and last name on starts on P. That's that's all I know. Okay. You know? How do you know him? Uh, through a friend of the friend. Okay. Yeah. How'd you guys meet? Well, to be honest with you, I used to buy and sell catalytic converters. Okay. And that's how I met him. Okay. And he would buy them from you. Uh, no, he would sell it to me. Okay. And. Um, that game, you meet a lot of shady people. Mm -hmm. I don't do it anymore. It's it's not right. It's not honest money. You know, it's uh, easy money, but it's not right money. Okay. Really quick, while we're talking, do you mind just taking your hands out of your pockets? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, you know him from the catalytic converters, and then what? He broke in, or he walked in with so, your door unlocked? So, long story, long story short, he came and asked about to borrow my sazal. Okay. And I said no. Okay. Because I knew what he's gonna do to it. Okay. And. Two weeks later, he came and broke in and stole the saza. Okay, so in the first the first time you invited him in, the second time. I know I never invited him. Him and we deal business outside here. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, so and I then... don't know how he figured out I have the saza. I. Okay, was there damage or how did he enter? Was the door unlocked? Through through the uh, garage, not the garage, uh, the restroom downstairs. Okay, how do you know that? Because it was open. Okay. The window was open. Does anybody else live here? No. Okay, just you. Okay, so he came in and just took the sawzall? Took the sawzall, took the downhill fork for a bicycle. The, sorry, the what? Downhill fork, like a fork for oh, a bicycle. Okay. It was yeah. a nice fork. And uh, what else he took? Five amp, uh, six amp battery for the wall. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me write this down really Thank quick. You. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so he took the... And also, he went, let me put my shoes on, he went and write a note like, hey, I, like, it was me, you know, I did this to you, pretty much. Balls do you have that note still? Yeah, I do, I do. Okay. Also, very importantly, he stole my gun, my rifle, but not, nothing in a firearm, it's like a toilet rifle, you know. Where are you going? Still, it was expensive, you know. What's your first name? Dmitry. Um, and then what did you say his name was again? Uh, R uh, Rodney. Rodney. Rodney and last name uh, starts with P, I believe, but I'm not sure. Yeah, P something. Okay. He's in jail right now. Okay. I wasn't trying to get him framed, but he was already in jail. How do you know he's in jail? I figured out it's through the online. You, you just googled his name or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he took a sawzall, uh, sawzall front fork, front fork for, for your downhill bike. bike. He took a jumper, nice jumper, jumper. and uh, like a single shot rifle, it's pellet rifle. Pellet rifle. Yeah. It's, it's not like a firearm, but it's still nice and very mm -hmm. powerful. It can do some damage. Okay. And most likely the sazal will do a lot of damage to the people, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you said this happened about a week ago. Why are you recording it a week later? Huh? Why are you recording it a week later? You said it happened a week ago? Because he's in jail, so I might have opportunity to get my tools back, you know. But why didn't you report it the night of? I, I give him a, just, I thought he's going to bring it back, maybe. Just, I did not want him to go to prison because of me, you know. But now he's in burglary, so he ro he robbed somebody else, too. So, How do you know that? Because it says on online, why person went to jail, it's because of burglary, you know. You can look it up online, and everybody, every single person's name who's in Snohomish County, mm -hmm. and I'm there, yeah. So you broke in through the downstairs bathroom downstairs window. Downstairs bathroom window, and left it open, and left that uh, note right here. And how I know it's him? It's Link. It's Lincoln right here. And uh, stole so far I know, saws of jumper, rifle, downhill fork. Okay, do you have any way to lock that? All your yes, it's already locked. Okay, yeah. just making sure. Yeah.
Do you have any serial numbers for the firearm or anything else? I don't think it came. It's a lapel rifle, you know. I might have a serial number on it, though. You don't have one? Uh, number for I it? I don't. It's like a sniper, you know, like a, you kick, uh, kick down, you roll the pellet and keep up. Yeah, it, it's a nice one. Do you have any, like, surveillance cameras anywhere yes, on your property? Yes, I do. do, you, do. Did you get any video footage of it? I didn't because my surveillance cameras, I need to have a hard drive and I don't have the hard drive for it. Okay, so I you don't have any working surveillance cameras? It, it works, but it doesn't record. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, like, you have, like, live live Yeah, live style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, would you mind will, uh, filling out a statement form? Sure. Okay, I'll just drop it off and then you can call a non-emergency hotline. We can pick it up. Or do you know where the new police department is? Where? It's 605 Delta or 50, 50, 501 Delta Ave in Old Marysville. Um... You can also just call it in yeah, and come yeah, pick it up. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, so I'll go grab that really quick. Thank you. Also, Thank do you, you mind if I take a photo? Take it, take I don't just take a photo of it. Do you want to take a photo of it before? Or do you? You're good? Oh, maybe, maybe because I don't know if he's robbing people like that. I mean, it's not right. So what what day did this happen exactly, Dimitri? I'll I'll be right don't back. know. You don't know? No, I don't. So. I'll be right back. Yeah. I was giving him shout outs about so he can never bring it back, you know? Alright, well based reading on, reading that, that tells me that he ain't bringing anything back. Yeah, yeah, he, he's delusional. I don't know what he's talking about. Alright. Yeah. Did you have like a deal going with him or something that you I don't thought know what he's, he's... I don't know. Well, no, but why did why did you think he didn't want to report it? Did you have something going on with him? No, not at all. I swear to God, not at all. I just, like I say, he's not a bad dude. He's just in, on drugs. But it's like, so to us, what we're hearing is you didn't want to get him in trouble, but now yeah. that he's in trouble, you want to get him in more trouble. Well, you know, know what I mean? You know, I've been more people. That's your call, you know? So okay. we're not we're not trying to make this, you know, difficult, but it's just like. That's fine, you guys. But it, well, yeah, I'm, right, just, I'm just trying question. to understand because it's just like this happened a week ago. Yeah. You know, he stole like probably, it sounds like at least $2,000 worth of tools and a firearm. That, that's pretty serious. And then you're calling at 10.30 on a Thursday night to report this? I just find out about it. I just find out about it. But how? If you live here, you knew the window was open the night of, right? It was... It, he opened it. It was not open. Now I put like a... Yeah, but how do you just find out about it if you knew that the window was open last week? Well, I don't know how he knows about it, but he went inside. You want to see where he... You guys can call and I can show you where it went. No, it no, no, no. You're just saying you didn't know that it happened until today. I did not know he went to jail until today. Okay. Yeah. But no, you knew I that know, it... I knew right away. It's the same day. Okay. Well, here's a statement form. The top okay. right corner is the case number. That little card that I left in your door, I think... Did you grab it? Yes, I have. Or did it fall? Yes. Um, so that's going to be the case number that you put up there that you can reference when you call us. Um, just call the non-emergency hotline. Just say, I have a statement form to be picked up. Thank you. And then they can come pick it up. Thank and just you. reference Thank you so the, the case number. Yeah, and you have a right to have questions. You know, I could be bullshitting, you know, just trying to have the guy in trouble, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, if I can have my tools back, it would be well, great. And also, he has a property he stays in. So, so here, here's the reality that, uh, of it, Dimitri. The reason I ask for serial numbers, because we, as police officers, we're coming into mm -hmm. the moment. I've never seen your property. Officer Herrera hasn't seen your property. Mm -hmm. So how do, we, how do we prove that it's yours? Do you want to have the bill uh, of uh, electricity goes to my name? Would you like to see my order mortgage payment? No, 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 no. But as far as the tools and the firearm that were taken, oh. how do I how do I know that that belongs to you? Well, man. See, I see, see where I'm coming from? I, I'm not trying to be difficult. Yes, yes. Did you like maybe like engrave I, your driver's license number on the tools? My battery have my name. Hmm. See, oh, and also my default batteries. What I do, I I have a special. I I erase the. Let me show you. I'm going to add the plates. Right. Every single one of the batteries I mark. Charles 85187 John. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Boy Queen Lincoln 145. Sure, but it's just like, it's just like, it's like this. Let's say you know, Parker, he's got my tools. Like, well, yeah. hey, man, they're in my garage. Oh, well, you know, there, there's a scratch on the handle of it. I put it there. It's just like... Yeah, it's not that good. See, again, I'm not trying to be difficult, but it's just like, how do, how can I prove that? Like, 
right? You can get a receipts from if you, uh, if you have anything that has a serial number associated to it, man, because that's what we need to feel like confident and transferring property from one person to another. Complete that statement form and just call us when I'm ready for pickup, all right? Sure. Good night, sir. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. No problem. No, no worries.